All right, let's set up IK on our Emerald AI. So simple, okay? Let's go for that perfect gaming. So go in and add the component Emerald Inverse in Kinematics. This one, open up the rig settings and say create new rig. It's gonna create this rig layer here. You can just click on it. It's gonna display as the bottom of the hero key. So on this rig layer, we want to add a, a MG game object. Let's call it head. Uh, and then on this head we're gonna add in a multi multi aim constraint so in this constraint here what we are looking for is uh, the bone that we want to actually put a constraint on in this case it's the head we want to have the head follow our target so on the head find the head on your uh, humanoid I have it here drag that in here and also if you look at the head bone you need to look at the direction so you see this uh, multi aim constraint it takes two parameters aim axis and up axis aim axis is the forward where the aim is going at so the forward direction from your character and the up axis is just yeah what it says the up so and it's important that you are in local low so go back to your go back to your head and the Y axis is the forward and the up axis is X but it's pointing downwards so it's negative so go back to your head and say forward is Y forward is Y and up axis is negative X this one okay and then also because we don't want his head to turn all the way around let's put a constraint on the limits so negative 90 and 90 here and then we need to have a target as well so let's just add a target here and create an empty call it target like so and move the target up to the source transform and this target you can move that and let's give it a more visual appealing so in this animation rigging tab here expand it Go for the go for the ball effector or whatever you want. You have these option. You can put whatever visual appealing you want. I'm just gonna put in this ball effector. Put it there. Then you have this this ball game object here, which you, it could look at. Now to be able to see it without actually hitting the play button in the game view, you can go to window and make sure you have your animation window uh, available open. I have it here, and then whatever animation you're looking at here. You have this this list of animation. If you click on the preview, it actually is going to go in and actually uh, display that. So if we hit the preview button right now, he's going to play this animation, the idle aim. So you can see if I'm scrubbing the timeline here, it's actually moving it. Now, while you have the target available, uh, target selected, just move and look. The head is moving along beautifully. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's go upwards. It works. So that was for the head. Now let's do another one. Duplicate this. Call this upper body, like so. And uh, we want to have the target. You can actually move that out of the hierarchy here. Move the upper body above the head, like so. And then make sure that you are selected the, the right bone. So I'm looking for the spine here and make sure that it is this spine here. So it's moving that way. And again, look at the direction. Forward is Y, down is negative X. And now go into preview. And let's move the target. yeah it's definitely working and what you can do here is say uh, it's a matter of a trial and error you need to of course play with the weight so I'm gonna put the body weight down to 0.5 let's try it again preview and move the target yeah so now it's more a natural movement rather than a stiff movement okay let's make 
another one. This one we called hand right. And let's go for the hand, the right hand, this one. Move it up here. And let's see the right hand if it's indeed the same. The local axis, so the forward axis is actually negative x this time and the up is uh, z a axis is negative x and the up is z let's test it out preview target yep yeah. and uh, what you need to do here is a matter of trial and error so go to your hand and then you're gonna play with these offset setting okay so negative 25 and if we look from above negative 25 and then the C negative 18 negative 18 to so negative 25 and negative 18 let's look perfect now let's fix the left hand here so create an empty again and call it hand ik fix like so so for this one we're actually gonna add another constraint called two bone ik constraint this one and for the tip we just want to put in the tip the rest we can do automatically so for the tip we want the left hand this one then you right click on the two bone ik and say auto setup from tip so it has everything here okay and what we want to do now at this point it created two it, it created two game objects one called hand affect hand hand ik target and a hint so take these two and put them under the right hand so right hand right there okay and then if you play your preview here you just need to fix your hand now so take your target first and just adjust it as you should be so this is a matter of just uh, trying it out until you are satisfied with how it looks maybe like, maybe like so and while you have it like that in preview mode you can go up and say right click on transform copy component disable the preview and then right click and say paste component values preview again now right hands in place now we need to fix the hint Take your target here to see how it's aligned. You see now his right hand is completely fixed to the gun. So now you have your perfect aiming and it's following along nicely. That was a two bone IK constraint. If we look at the hand now, we're going to leave all the other things uh, as it is. You can of course manually adjust things here uh, but we don't want to touch those for now so go out of preview mode okay so go into preview mode let's check it out hit our target and move it yeah you see now our hand is constrained to the weapon exactly cool it works so the way it works uh, on your player is actually on your player character and i'm using the fps engine here you have the target position mod modifier and actually when it goes in and plays whenever you have whenever your ai has a target it will actually go in and use the target position modifier as its aim source so if you're seeing that he's uh, not correctly pointing at your target then you can always adjust your target position modifier on your character okay so that, that was it guys, I hope you learned something, thank you for this quick little tutorial, see you on the next one, bye.